as as a team and as as players as competitors i feel like you need to always feel like you have it in the bag no matter what i mean you should never have any doubts on like your your potential as a team and like winning or losing the thought is always to to win and we're always gonna be the better team in our heads for sure and there, there should be no doubts Welcome everyone, I'm Brandon on behalf of esports.gg here with Zeppa. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you, thank you. So we'll just get right into it. You know, we saw everyone's tweets after losing the Evil Geniuses. You know, the team seemed pretty down. Uh, but all season long we've heard about the camaraderie among everyone. Uh, you know, when you all got together after that series, what was the conversation like? Um, I mean, everybody was disappointed for sure. And um, it's not like we're putting blame on one individual. I think us as a team yesterday against EG, were completely like terrible and we came out flat and I guess they they came in peak performance and uh, I guess when the light the light shined on us too bright that day but at the same time um, it's it's good that we actually lost to a team like EG and the way we lost because I mean it just shows um, how much how much gut and how much will we have uh, as a team to come back the next day and hopefully come back against NRG and, and qualify and what kind of criticism did you have for yourself after that series um, I mean <laughs> It's hard to say because uh, I felt like, at least with me, uh, maybe I wasn't talking too much or as much that day. Wasn't hitting shots or like just things we weren't doing things together. And I guess like uh, uh, me as like a, a, a big part of the team, I should be a little a little more vocal that day. But it's also hard to, hard to say because uh, everybody came out flat as a team and we were just terrible. And they came, I mean, they kept 4K'ing, 3K'ing us and we we're just losing every every uh, duel. So, I mean, great, great, great on EG. Well, you guys, you know, turned things around here against Leviathan. How did, you know, MCE kind of address, you know, the the mistakes that were made, you know, just the game itself to kind of whip you guys back into shape with such a short amount of time leading into this one? Well, I, I mean, for sure, he, as a coach, he knows our, our potential as a team. And what what we showed that day against EG was, was not it. And I think, you know, maybe pressure was too high for everybody. Everybody got nerves and things like that. So I mean, I'm happy that it happened before we, you know, we lose that chance of like, like not right now. Like if we lose, we play against NRG tomorrow, and that show that that happening again, then obviously like it, it would be a terrible thing. But but because we lost to EG in the way we did, and everybody knew like that's that's gonna be our lowest, right? And coming against our NRG, as long as we don't do what we did against EG, we're probably gonna qualify for Tokyo. Okay, we'll definitely talk about the NRG match here a little bit. Uh, but first, you know, we've heard over and over kind of about Zelsis taking on that big brother role on the team. But, you know, you've been a part of the Cloud9 Valorant roster for a long time, like along with Leaf as well. Uh, so what's your role kind of been in welcoming the newer players and getting them used to the Cloud9 culture? I mean, Jordan's definitely the big brother. And um, obviously, if, like there, there are times where he um, maybe isn't as vocal or like, you know what it is. I mean, every me and Leaf always, you know, would always chime in and help help the team out. Because obviously, Jordan can't do it all. And I mean, as as, um, as vets on the team, then you know, it's it is our job, uh, Leaf and I, to, to step up when when it's needed for sure. And I mean, Jordan's been been doing an amazing, amazing job. So you live to see another day after taking down Leviathan. And at certain points, you know, it looked like the series could go either way. You know, was there any point where you guys knew you had it in the bag, or do you kind of avoid feeling that way until the results final? As, as a team and as, as players, as competitors, I feel like you need to always feel like you have it in the bag no matter what. I mean, you should never have any doubts on like your, your potential as a team and like winning or losing. The thought is always to, to win and we're always going to be the better team in our heads for sure. And there, there should be no doubts. Okay, well, let's talk about the series a bit then. You know, start on Haven, you're playing Killjoy, not your most common agent. So how do you feel you approach Killjoy differently than the other agents you play and maybe even differently than other players who typically play her? Um, I mean, it's it's hard to say that I play differently compared to like everybody else because I think KJ on, on that map on Haven, people kind of play it the same way, but it's more like kind of adapting how, how the other teams play and just like switching things up. And I mean, the difference is between obviously me, KJ, and like other uh, roles is that that map, uh, I think it fits everybody's roles. Um, the agents we play on that map better than than what we had before, and me putting me on KJ just lets me like do my own thing instead of being um being with the the pack as I, as I was before. And because Jordan's like the most probably vocal on the team, it puts him in a role like Breach where he gets to be part of the pack and be a little more vocal, and just me on like on a solo part. Okay, and on to Lotus then. You know this was the team's first loss on the map. Uh, you know, what has helped Cloud9 find so much success there previously, and how did that kind of falter against Leviathan? 
Well, I don't want to say why uh, why we were so good on the map, but I can definitely say uh, why we we definitely played ourselves um, in a sense. Whereas, like, I think we weren't um, trusting what we were doing, and obviously, as in, like um, as high intense situation and pressure coming to the playoffs, and we won the first map, and I was like, oh, it's second map, we you know we should be winning this. this is our map. And as they kept like you know doing what they do and winning round by round, it was just um I think people couldn't adapt um towards the end as a team. And I mean it definitely showed because we lost we lost the game. But I mean at the end of the day, um I think losing losing makes you better as a team anyways. So glad yeah, we lost on the best map. And maybe it's not the you know energy may seem like oh they lost that Lotus and I pick it blah, blah blah you know. All right, well last up you know was a scent. Really not much to talk about there. Clean cut victory to take the series. Uh, you know, from your perspective, what made it so overwhelmingly in your favor? Um, it'd probably be the comp we play. It's not the most common comp we play, or the the region plays. So I mean, them running into us and playing us the first for the first time on that comp definitely showed that they weren't probably ready on how we play and how we wanted to play them out. So, I mean, King had a an amazing map on on Ascent. So I mean, it, it's good that nobody else on that team shot back. Probably would have been closer. But um, I mean, good on them. I mean. I'm proud of uh, the boys, how we play, and uh, and that signs a clean map for us. Well, you've said it a handful of times. You know, next up, you've got NRG. Always can be a dangerous opponent. How mm -hmm. familiar with them would you say that you are? At least like us three, me, those and Leaf have a great idea on how like each of them play, and it goes vice versa. They definitely know how we play and our tendencies like that. So I mean, it's always gonna be a close match for sure against them. And I mean, and as players, I mean, I do know, I do know some FNS, Crash, and Vic are just probably the least for sure. And you know, talk to them sometimes here and there, but we're good friends. Okay, and when the match does start, how will you use that familiarity in the server to your advantage so that you guys can qualify for Masters Tokyo and Champions? Um, hey, that, that's for us to know and nobody <laughs> else to find out. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> That's all I had for you then. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk hey, with me. And again, congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.